United States of America, USA Vice President and Democrat Presidential Candidate. Kamala Harris says she only considered to the results of 2024 elections as it is in line with principles of democracy in the North America country when defeated in an electoral contest, but she has not considered to the fight that followed her campaign promises which she will continue the fight on the ground that when we fight, we win, though, sometimes, the fight may take a while but that doesn't mean winning wouldn't come. Vice President Kamala Harris, who delivered the concession speech on Wednesday evening, urged crowd of her supporters to hold the values that drove her campaign while bracing for the next Trump administration. She also urged her supporters to accept the results of the campaign while thanking President Joe Biden for the support given to her during the electioneering campaign. To my beloved dog and our family, I love you so very much. To President Biden and Dr. Biden, thank you for your faith and support. To Governor Walls and the Walls family, I know your service to our nation will continue, she said. I am so proud of the race we ran and the way we ran it and the way we ran it. Over the 107 days of this campaign, we have been intentional about building community and building coalitions, bringing people together from every walk of life and background, united by love of country, with enthusiasm and joy in our fight for America's future, Harris said. Details of her speech reads thus, My heart is full today full of gratitude for the trust you have placed in me, full of love for our country, and full of resolve. The outcome of this election is not what we wanted or what we fought for, but hear me when I say, the light of America's promise will always burn bright, as long as we never give up, and as long as we keep fighting. Earlier today, I spoke with President Trump. I told him that we will help him and his team with the transition, and we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. In our nation, we owe loyalty not to a president or party, but to the Constitution of the United States, our conscience, and our God. My allegiance to all three is why, while I concede this election, I do not concede the fight that foiled this campaign, the fight for freedom, for opportunity, and for fairness and the dignity of all people. That is a fight I will never give up. I will never give up the fight for a future where Americans can pursue their dreams, ambitions, and aspirations. A future where women have the freedom to make decisions about their own bodies and not have their government telling them what to do, where we protect our schools and our streets from gun violence. We will never give up the fight for rule of law, equal justice, and for the sacred idea that every one of us, no matter who we are or where we start out, has certain fundamental rights and freedoms that must be respected and upheld. To the young people watching, it is okay to feel sad and disappointed. On the campaign, I would often say, when we fight, we win. Sometimes the fight takes a while, but that doesn't mean we won't win. The important thing is to never stop trying to make the world a better place. There is an adage, only when it is dark enough can you see the stars. I know many people feel like we are entering a dark time. For the benefit of us all, I hope that is not the case. But, America, if it is, let us fill the sky with the light of a billion brilliant stars. May the light of optimism, faith, truth, and service guide us, even in the face of setbacks, toward the extraordinary promise of the United States of America. President Joe Biden in a written statement on Wednesday, said, What America saw today was the Kamala Harris I know and deeply admire. She's been a tremendous partner and public servant full of integrity, courage, and character. Under extraordinary circumstances, she stepped up and led a historic campaign that embodied what's possible when guided by a strong moral compass and a clear vision for a nation that is more free, more just, and full of more opportunities for all Americans. As I've said before, selecting Kamala was the very first decision I made when I became the nominee for president in 2020. It was the best decision I made. 
Her story represents the best of America's story. And as she made clear today, I have no doubt that she'll continue writing that story. She will continue the fight with purpose, determination, and joy. She will continue to be a champion for all Americans. Above all, she will continue to be a leader our children will look up to for generations to come as she puts her stamp on America's future. Former President Barack Obama also in a written statement said, Over the last few weeks and through Election Day, millions of Americans cast their votes, not just for president, but for leaders at every level. Now the results are in, and we want to congratulate President Trump and Senator Vance on their victory. This is obviously not the outcome we had hoped for, given our profound disagreements with the Republican ticket on a whole host of issues. But living in a democracy is about recognizing that our point of view won't always win out, and being willing to accept the peaceful transfer of power. Michelle and I could not be prouder of Vice President Harris and Governor Walls, two extraordinary public servants who ran a remarkable campaign. And we will always be grateful to the staff and volunteers who poured their heart and soul into electing public servants they truly believed in. As I said on the campaign trail, America has been through a lot over the last few years, from a historic pandemic and price hikes resulting from the pandemic, to rapid change and the feeling a lot of folks have that, no matter how hard the work, trading water is the best they can do. Those conditions have created headwinds for democratic incumbents around the world, and last night showed that America is not immune. The good news is that these problems are solvable, but only if we listen to each other, and only if we abide by the core constitutional principles and democratic norms that made this country great. In a country as big and diverse as ours, we won't always see eye to eye on everything. But progress requires us to extend good faith and grace, even to people with whom we deeply disagree. That's how we've come this far, and it's how we'll keep building a country that is more fair and more just, more equal and more free. My heart is full today. My heart is full today, full of gratitude for the trust you have placed in me, full of love for our country, and full of resolve. The outcome of this election is not what we wanted, not what we fought for, not what we voted for, but hear me when I say, hear me when I say, the light of America's promise will always burn bright. As long as we never give up and as long as we keep fighting. Now I know folks are feeling and experiencing a range of emotions right now. I get it. <laughs> but we must accept the results of this election. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. To the young people who are watching, it is okay to feel sad and disappointed, but please know it's gonna be okay. On the campaign, I would often say, when we fight, we win. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Sometimes the fight takes a while. That doesn't mean we won't win. That doesn't mean we won't win. The important thing is don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Don't ever stop trying to make the world a better place. You have power. You have power. And don't you ever listen when anyone tells you something is impossible because it has never been done before. There's an adage an historian once called a law of history. True of every society across the ages. The adage is, 
Only when it is dark enough can you see the stars. I know many people feel like we are entering a dark time, but for the benefit of us all, I hope that is not the case. But here's the thing, America, if it is, let us fill the sky with the light of a brilliant, brilliant billion of stars. The light, the light of optimism, of faith, of truth, and service. And may that work guide us, even in the face of setbacks, toward the extraordinary promise of the United States of America. I thank you all. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. I thank you all. Osazuwa Kangebe, bringing you the news in a more digital way.